Okay, we need to talk. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you guys can already see by the title, we are gonna be talking about all the things that you could be doing that's damaging your hair. If you have been doing any of these things on this list, then don't worry because I have also had my fair share of doing these things too and have definitely learned from them. We're gonna be talking about the things that you could be doing when it comes to styling, when it comes to products you're using, when it comes to how you're styling your hair, all of that. If you're interested in knowing what these things are, make sure to keep on watching. So before we go ahead and begin, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, make sure you go down below and subscribe if you like videos like these. Also, make sure to follow me on all of my social handles. They will be linked down below. And let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you could be doing that's damaging your hair is doing really tight protective styles. Now, I've been guilty of this. Uh, I used to put my hair into a very high pineapple and I used to use gel to completely brush it up and tie it and it was just a no-go. And this one I really know from experience because for me personally, about a month and a half ago, one of my friends that I considered family uh, passed away and I just did not feel like doing my hair at all. I just didn't want to deal with my hair at all. I was so close to just cutting it off because I just wasn't in the mood to do anything and I had put my hair up in like a lot of tight styles, buns, and I did experience a lot of damage that I'm still recovering from. So definitely make sure that you, especially if you have shorter hair and colored hair, that you are using first off a satin scrunchie to bring your hair up, but also not tying it tight. But also making sure your hair is pretty loose when you're putting it up into a pineapple or whatever protective style that you're gonna be doing. Also, I know it's difficult. We always want you know, to tame all of our frizzies and everything with gel, but aim for something that's more lightweight, like a mousse or maybe a thicker cream. You could also use a slight amount of edge control, but gel I don't really recommend anymore um, for doing more slick looks. If you are gonna use gel, try to mix it with a leave-in conditioner just so you can keep that moisture in your hair. Um, but, but yes, this is something that you could be doing that's actually damaging your curls and your edges and you're wondering why you have like short pieces around your face. You could actually be experiencing damage from putting your hair into very tight protective styles. So if you can, I know that's a sacrifice, but try and use more caution when doing protective styling. The next thing that you could be doing that's damaging your hair could be actually using a diffuser, but not just using a diffuser, using a diffuser on medium to high heat with no cold shots. A diffuser is something that almost all curly girls use in their routine to speed up drying time and just make your hair look overall super voluminous and big and bouncy. But some curlies have actually been using this product wrong. It is not meant to be used on high heat. It is meant to be used on medium to low heat and if on medium heat, use cold shots, do cold shots. And what a cold shot is, just blowing with cold air just to kind of set the curl and make sure that it doesn't get too hot. Because if you're using a diffuser on high heat, even though a diffuser is more open and it doesn't really focus the heat as much on our hair, it can still damage our hair. So make sure that you are using it on medium to low heat. And also if you're doing only medium heat, cold shots. I personally only diffuse my hair on low and medium. If I have a lot of time, I'll actually diffuse my hair only on low because my diffuser, I feel like my the lowest setting is actually pretty warm. So, But I know that's not the case for all blow dryers. So just make sure that if your blow dryer is pretty hot, even on medium heat or low heat, just make sure that you alternate between the cool setting and the warm setting. On to the next thing that you could be doing that's damaging your curls 
is actually going to sleep without any protection on cotton sheets. Now, I just had a video about this recently about my nighttime routine and how I like to cover my curls to make sure that they are preserved and protected throughout the night. Now, if you don't use any protection on your hair when you go to bed and you have cotton sheets, you could be rubbing your hair and that friction is causing your hair to get dry and frizzy and causing damage. So make sure that you preserve your curls and protect them at night. If you want, I will link the video of my nighttime routine up here so you guys can go check it out. The next thing you could be doing that's damaging your curls is not knowing if you need either protein or moisture. So what I basically do is when I know my hair needs protein, it can be like gummy, weak, and kind of like lacking any definition, like it just won't define at all. That's when I know my hair needs protein. Now when I know my hair needs moisture, my hair feels very brittle, very dry, and it also is very, very frizzy. So making sure that you have a balance in your hair is super important in keeping your hair nice and healthy and strong. Another way you could really be damaging your hair is not trimming your hair. Me personally, I have an issue with this. I have never had my hair like super long since I was in elementary school and I've just been trying to grow my hair so much but I'm not gonna lie, there's times where I just don't wanna trim my hair because I want my hair to be as long as possible. But when you have split ends, if you have any kind of damage, dry ends, and they split, they will split all the way into the root and your hair will just become less voluminous. It will thin out. So getting your trims every three to four months is super, super important so that your hair doesn't continue damaging. Another way you could be damaging your hair is using the worst ingredients. This sulfates, non-water soluble silicones, mineral oils, alcohols, and parabens, all of that nasty stuff we stay away from. I am not 100% the Curly Girl Method. I do use silicones from time to time. It works for me, especially for my blonde. It really helps my hair. It's not often that I do reach for a silicone. So make sure that you're checking your products and using products with really good ingredients, none of these ingredients. These are a no-no. And that's all I have for you guys today. So these are ways that you could be damaging your hair. Try to stop doing them immediately. They will really, really help your hair, your routine, and you avoid damage. If you're guilty of doing any of these things, let me know down below. Don't worry. I am also been there. We've all been there, I'm sure. If you have anything else you'd like to share, please share it down below. But if you like this video, make sure to give your girl a big thumbs up and go ahead down below and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you turn on your notifications button so you can know when I post my next video. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.